Hello YouTube and welcome back to another WaxPackHero.com box break. Uh, this, this break we've got something a little bit special and I'm kind of excited about it. And this will be the first time I've ever broken a box of first off the line um, Panini boxes. So within the last year or so um, they started selling some of their hobby style boxes directly to the consumer. Um, calling them first off the line and they typically have had some special um, parallels or some special inserts uh, things that that are unique to the first off the line boxes and they sell them at the suggested retail price so in this era of the last few months where we've had um, prices skyrocket even before release this has provided an opportunity for some collectors um, to get some hobby boxes directly from panini without paying that markup at a local hobby shop or the, the markup that some distributors are, are passing on. And so this hobby box cost $72 shipped to the house. Um, the, this Diamond Kings doesn't even come out until um, next Wednesday. Um, of what would that be here? This is April 7th today. The, the traditional release is next Wednesday. When the shipping information said this box would be here Tuesday, um, the 10th, the day before the release, but it actually made it to our town at the FedEx uh, distributor um, here on Saturday. So almost uh, three days before we were supposed to get it. Um, so I was excited to, to get it a little bit early. And so I thought I'd bust it here um, uh, for the, the YouTube channel. We'll see what we get. Um, so your typical box is going to have um, eight cards per pack, 12 packs per box. Um, you sh there should be two autographs or relic cards in each box. And I believe uh, with these first off the line, there's a special autograph um, serial number to 20 or less, I believe, is what we should expect to see as part of this special first off the line uh, box. So let's go ahead and dig in and see what we get. But the break shouldn't take real long with there only being um, 12 packs. And so we'll see what we end up getting. Um, this is, you know, there's Diamond Kings in the traditional Donruss as one of the subsets. This is a whole set that has that um, Diamond Kings artwork feel. So you can see here in this box, there's just one row of packs. One row of 12 packs kind of set in the middle. Eight cards per pack. Um, We'll take a look. I've not seen any of these in person yet. Obviously, I've, I'm one of the. I got them so early. I'm not. I definitely have not been in other retail stores. So this will be my first view of the 2018 version, other than what was available um, online. So let's take a look at what these look like. Anthony Santander, Baltimore. As this is a Panini product, and they don't have a license, um, you're not gonna find uh, logos on any of these. I'm sure there's typically short prints and some variations. I don't know much about what those look like yet at this point. So we may we may end up having some more rare variations um, that we just don't know about yet. Harry Walker, Stan Musial, Richard Urena. This one was backwards, so I don't know if that means this is a parallel or or what what signified it being backwards, um, but we might set that aside just to check later on. Here we've got a Co Cody Bellinger Trophy Club. It's got kind of a refractor uh, lettering on it. TC3, so this is an insert card. This is one of those that you really don't even notice that there's no logos here. At the angle of his hat, you wouldn't normally be able to see the Dodger logo. Um, they've got a name there, the number showing. So this is one of those that you don't really even notice uh, too much that they don't have logos, but that's a cool Bellinger card. Chris Flexen, Trey Mancini, Kiki Queer. All right, that was pack one. Pack number two, Paul Goldschmidt. Roberto Clemente. This is one where it is a little more noticeable that there's no Pirates logos. Grover Alexander. Nick Williams. 
Then we've got another John. Up oh, here we have an original materials Jonathan scope. This will be one of our hits. Serial numbered to 99. So this is a double jersey. Uh, serial numbered to 99. Jonathan Shope scope. I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure somebody out there will correct me. This says this is game used material. So this isn't even just player worn. Um, this says this is actually game used material. So that's our hit. That's our relic hit. And we should have an auto somewhere in the, the remainder of this one. Jose Altuve. Ryan McMahon, and Kirby Puckett. All right, next one. Again, this is 2018 Panini Diamond Kings, first off the line edition. Another Clemente, another Alexander, another Nick Williams. Then here we've got one of the uh, framed cards that you'll find with Jose Ramirez, also numbered to 49, I believe. Yes, number five of 49, there you can see it. That's cool, blank. Got another insert here, Willie McCovey. Willie McCovey insert. Hooper, Larson, Kluber. So you also see, as you can see, there's some current players, there's retired modern era players, and then there's some of the old uh, old legends of the game that you can find in this product. Chris Sale. And as you can see, Clayton Kershaw. Every one of them has kind of that painted uh, Diamond Kings artistic look. And they also kind of have a textured finish to them. Max Carey. Reese Hoskins. Backwards. This is a black and white card. I'm going to guess this is a, some kind of variation here, being a black and white. Reese Hoskins rookie. Past and present, Brooks Robinson, Manny Mikado. Looks like that's another insert. Andrew Benintendi. Earl. And a Dominic Smith. All right, next pack. These are one of those products that I, I've always enjoyed. I've never actually bought a box. I've, I've picked up some singles here or there to add to my PC, but this is actually the first box of Diamond Kings um, that I've ever purchased. Bobby Thompson, Chris Bryant, all right. Add that to the Cubs PC. Ted Lyons, Jose Ramirez, another backwards card. I'm gonna guess again that this is some kind of insert or parallel, or I mean a parallel, it's definitely not an insert. Bryce Harper Trophy, Trophy Club. That will also go into the PC. Erskine, Erskine, Peters, and Joe Cronin. Next pack. You see the front of these packs, it says, look for Otani autographs. If I'm, if I'm lucky, we'll get an Otani autograph. He seems to have... Uh, been waiting for the regular season to live up to his potential. He had such an awful spring training, but he's been doing all right here uh, so far at the start of the 2018 season. Bryce Harper, Herman, Correa, Fox, Eddie Murray, insert, Verlander, Panak, and Banda. All right. Still looking for that autograph. We're about halfway through the box now. Still looking for that special uh, first off the line auto. McCutcheon, Caratini, another Cubs rookie. DeRocher, Aaron Hicks, and here's the auto. Here's the auto. A purple foil auto of Aaron Hicks. Um, serial number 16 of 20. Aaron Hicks auto, 16 of 20. Could be better, could be worse. John McGraw, Tyler Wade, Paul DeYoung of the Cardinals. It's hoping for a little better of an auto than that, but with it being uh, serial number to 20, that's, that's not too bad. That'll keep a little value on that, hopefully. Um, I'll be able to trade for, for a Cub or one of the other 
uh, some another guy that I like a little bit more. I don't really have much affiliation or uh, attachment to Hicks. Thorpe Sims. Another Nick Williams, Artist Proof. That one's serial number to 99. So if you remember, I had a Nick Williams earlier. Um, this one is an Artist Proof serial number to 99. A DeGrom Gallery of Stars. This reminds me a lot of the traditional Diamond Kings that you'd find, uh, especially in the, in the early 90s. Bregman, DiMaggio, and Cobb. All right, we have four more packs. Be nice to at least get an Otani base. There's some more Cubs. We've got Honus Wagner, Crawford, Guerra, and another framed card here. A red frame. Uh, this one does not appear to be serial numbered. Here we've got a portraits of Ted Williams. Another insert. I'm not sure of how rare some of these are, if some are more rare than others. Craig Allen, Frank Thomas, and Mickey Mantle. Ever since uh, Mantle's been in in the uh, with Panini here over the last year or so, um, those cards seem to sell, seem to pick right back up, even though they don't have the official Yankees uh, logos on them. Uh, Garrick, Betts, Maris, Joe Crown, or Cronin, I'm sorry, I misread that. Cronin, past and present, Frank Thomas and Abreu insert, Lloyd Weiner, and Mike Trout, and Lefty Gomez. All right, next up. Two packs left, counting this one. Josh Donaldson, Victor Robles, one of the better rookies of this, this class. Springer, we've got an Aurora insert of Lindor. Let's see the back of that. It's a cool looking insert. Another blank. Another Nolan Arenado, Gallery of Stars. I should say another Gallery of Stars. It's the first Arenado we've seen. Ted Williams, and a, a standard Arenado. Kind of has that watercolor feel to it, or look with the textured feel. Last pack of the first off the line box. Shoeless Joe. There's an Otani pitching base rookie. Might have to get that one out there. Otani base rookie as a pitcher. A framed red Honus Wagner. We've got a David Ortiz portraits insert. A Cody Bellinger base card. We had the Cody Bellinger insert earlier. Here's the base card. Ernie Banks, Cubby. And Dom DiMaggio. And that is the last card. So there you have it, 2018 Panini Diamond Kings, first off the line box, our hits were the Aaron Hicks um, Purple Foil Auto, serial number 16 of 20, and our Relic card, which I'm trying to find right now. What did I do with it? Our, here it is, a Relic card of Jonathan Scope, or Shope. Dual uh, jersey, number 54 out of 99. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Go pick up some of your own. Um, as always, I appreciate any likes, shares, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Check out WaxPackHero.com for more. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.